The mission of the Chamber of Commerce is multifunctional. I would say one of the primary missions is to create jobs and to drive capital investment to Central Texas. Other functions of the Chamber include educating kids, putting more kids through college, um, broadening the expanse of educational programs here, improving the workforce, and then um, through the membership department allow for opportunities among business um, associates and among companies in Central Texas to get together and do business. Samsung had no fabrication facilities, semiconductor fabs, um, globally outside of Seoul, South Korea before the mid-1990s when they decided to invest in Austin. And the reason that investment happened here was because they looked at the University of Texas and they decided that based on a couple of different things about UT, that was a, an institution that could support something as massive as a semiconductor fabrication for one of the biggest technology companies in the world. And the faculty and the research, I mean, uh, the University of Texas spends over $500 million a year in research, and that's without a med school. And those are phenomenal figures for any university in the country, much less one that's paired with a city that has a relatively low cost of living and doing business. So Samsung knew that it could recruit engineers and scientists to live here without a problem. Um, the University of Texas is home to one of the largest, uh, possibly the largest Korean student population outside of Korea. Um, it's a place that is extremely high tech and, and lent um, other areas of the workforce to Samsung when they opened up and, and people ended up working for Samsung that were in other high tech areas of assembly uh, for electronics and, and uh, advanced computers. And um, like I said, Samsung was just extremely attracted to the low cost environment of Austin and they knew that it was going to be low cost and fair in terms of regulatory and legislative statute for a long time. Uh, we're, just, we're just predictable as a business climate. The expansion was based on their previous record, their track record of success in Austin, and they looked at the worker productivity figures that they had for the, the Samsung um, Austin Semiconductor Plant and they looked at the continuing support that they had received from the community from not only the city of Austin but the county and the state and the University of Texas and they said that this is a place where we foresee a long-term future and this is a place where we can bring new product and safely and securely manufacture it at a low cost price and that that type of uh, relationship is something that's hard to look away from uh, even if you're doing uh, a global site search for new facilities I mean, that's just those are uh, intangibles that provide a value to Samsung that can't be measured.